Hello, this is Sam from Wargamer Online, and I'm going to do another basing video today, but it's going to be a bit of a longer one because we're going to be doing this for my Emperor model, so there's a bit more to it. So, all I've done so far is build this up with a load of cork, uh, bits of plastic, uh, wiring, all sorts of bits and pieces, um, and it's been sprayed with Mechanicus Standard Grey from Games Workshop, and now I'm just dry brushing Dawnstone over the entirety of the model. You don't necessarily need to get any of the armour areas because we're going to pick them out afterwards but this is mainly to get all of the cork, all of the rubble and sand that's on the model. Then we're going to go over all of those same areas again with Carrack Stone and you can see I put a bit too much on there and didn't wipe off the excess so it's streaked so I've just removed that and now I'm going to go over all of those areas again. And that's just picking those out, making them stand out and they're a bit brighter on there. Now this was put together as well using hot glue, so to glue the cork and all of these plastic bits and all the components that are on this together, hot glue works really well for that. It keeps it together and it doesn't break off, as, like if you use super glue and you try and stick it onto a surface, if you bend it anyway it will just generally snap off or clip off. So hot glue doesn't do that, it works much better for this sort of base. So now the whole thing's been dry brushed, going to use lead belcher over all the metallic areas. You might need to do two coats of this, just because the grey undercoat will show through in some places. So let the first one dry and then do a second coat afterwards. And use a bigger brush as well if it helps. Um, you can use the, the big brush for the large areas and then go back to using a small brush to get into all of the gaps and all the stuff that's harder to get. Now all the pipes uh, around the base, I'm going to use Screaming Bell and pick all of these out and it's just a, a, a different colour, it's going to contrast with the silver and the grey of the base so that these stand out. And these are made out of plastic tubes that you cover over your paintbrushes. So you can snip them up and cut them at angles and glue them onto your base and make them look like pipes. And they work quite well because you get different sizes and you can put a couple of wires inside them which is what I've done to make it look like they're tubings for electrical cables and bits that have got all the electrics on the on the spaceship that might have crashed or anything like that. Now we're using fulgurite copper just to layer highlight these pipes. Just make sure you get the majority of it. Leave the insides of it so you've got a bit of shadow. Just give them a bit more colour. And then we're going to go in with Screaming School this time to do the final highlight on all of the rocky areas. And this is also picking out any metallics. So like the, you can see the grating that's on top of that rock. It's just been picked out with Screaming School as well because it's going to have rubble and all sorts of mess on it. And you can see how much brighter this is to the rest of the, the ground. We're going to darken that down with the wash we're going to use next. This is just to give us our high contrast before we go on to that. And all of the cables that have come out of those pipes are painted as well. So one of them's had black and yellow chevrons painted onto it. Uh, another one's been blue or red. And then uh, this is the wash. So we're using Summer Kursk Earth from AK Interactive. And I've chucked this over the entire model. Uh, I use this for most of my bases. I get my bases to the same sort of level using greys and then going up to Carrack or Screaming Skull and then use this over the top of it and then tidy it up with White Spirit and it, it properly grunges them off, it makes them look quite natural and grungy and dark. So the idea for this is to, to cover everything, cover the all of the metallics, all of the rocks and then we tidy it back up again with White Spirit afterwards. So any areas that we don't, you know, you don't want it on the top surfaces and you just use a bit of White Spirit and an earbud and just remove as much as you want to and you get a lot more control with this than using a normal wash. If you were going to use something like Agrax mixed with Norn oil or something you would pull it on and you'd probably do it in stages 
because it's harder to remove, you'll end up with more watermarks on the on the surface if you try to do the same thing with a normal Games Workshop acrylic wash. But this stuff's great because it leaves all of the grunginess in the recesses and all the gaps and you can just remove it from the raised areas quite easily. And you can streak it as well if you wanted it to look like grime. Their range is quite extensive as well, they've got a ton of different things like we're going to use engine oil on this but they've got streaking grime products for all use of different coloured vehicles so you've got things that can be put onto white or green or brown vehicles, you've got moss paints and you can just pick whatever works with your model and, and start using it straight away and they're quite easy to use. The, the one thing that I've found out with these paints, the washers and the streaking grime in particular, is to leave them on the model for about five to ten minutes at least, just to let them set a little bit before you remove it with the white spirit. And that's how you get the staining. If you don't want it to stain as much, then remove them and, and do it as quick as possible. But don't ever leave it overnight because it won't. It'll be pretty much impossible to remove if you leave it too long. I'm going to use a pigment from Vallejo now. This is the Martian Oxide colour and we're just going to drop this wherever we want it to be placed on the model to begin with and we can move it around. And the, these are quite messy, I generally put down some sort of kitchen towel so that if it falls down it will fall on something you can easily clear up because otherwise you'll, you'll wipe it all over your desk, all over your arms, you'll find it up the wall and you know on your dog's face, it will just get everywhere so just make sure you, you tidy that up before it becomes, before it starts to multiply. And then all I'm using here is white spirit again with an earbud and just removing it where I don't want it to be and creating streaks with it as well. And that's the good thing with this with white spirit, you can put on quite a lot and then remove as much as you want to. You can remove it all if you don't like the look of it. And this step using the white spirit also lets you see how the material looks when it's wet. So you can see at the moment it looks like it's it, it could have been raining and it's just settled on the surface and you want to make it look like that when it's done so you can just do a gloss varnish at the end if you want some of these areas to look like puddles or any sort of oil leakage um, we're going to use a product for that anyway but um, the next bit is using uh, Raven Black from Minotaur just to paint the rim of the base you can use Bad and Black from Games Workshop or any other black and just be as neat as you can with this to go around the entire trim of the base and you'll probably need to do two layers of this just to get a nice smooth even coverage around the entire rim just let the first coat dry before you go on to the next one And then the, the next bit we're going to do is just add AK Interactive's engine oil to any areas that we want to make shine. You could use uh, Agrax Earthshade from Games Workshop and then add a little bit of gloss varnish or alternatively just get the gloss Agrax. Uh, but this stuff looks really, really nice anyway and I've got it so I'm going to use it. And this is just to make it look like it's been pouring out the pipes out the side of this ruined vehicle. And then you can also add it to any of the recesses on the base that you want to be a bit shinier and look like something's leaked and it looks particularly nice around the edges you can see it looks like it's been raining or oil's trickled on there like I was saying before and mixing the pigment with the uh, sand and everything else that's on there blends all of the base together And again, if you go a bit too far with this and you want to remove it, white spirit, you can just take it back to how you, you wanted it. It's a good thing with these enamel paints. So that's the base done. Uh, there's another video on the, the model that goes on the top of this, the Emperor model. So be sure to check that one out and see what you can do with AK Interactive's weathering range on your stuff.